Alright, so, uh, welcome to this week's War Thunder news. Not a whole lot of things were thrown around, so it might be a bit quicker than usual. First up, the uh, dev blogs for Desert Hunters. Uh, first up, we have a new British heavy fighter. Uh, it's gonna appear after the Mosquitoes. It's, uh, like a continuation of the bow fighters or whatever. It has 420s and rockets. Overall, it's not exactly super exciting. Uh, it'll be nice to have. I researched all the British heavy fighters, so it's more stuff to grind, I guess. Has some pretty good rockets, a lot of them. But it's not like world shake or anything. After that, we have a passenger plane built in the United States, repurposed, or redesigned maybe, as a bomber. The uh, Hudson Mark V. It's a uh, light bomber, low tier premium, and doesn't have the biggest bomb loads, but it is extremely maneuverable for some odd reason. Uh, British Magic T. It has those charming 303s. It probably won't be too exciting, but that maneuverability will be really useful for either if you miss a bombing target or are descended upon by uh, Germans or whatever. After that, some visual improvements. Tracers now look more like lasers, which is really cool. And fire looks more like fire. It smokes a bit more oily. Not very much. Besides that, we have a uh, confirmation by the Facebook guy that the Italian tech tree is being worked on. As I have, they have been saying for God knows how long. I'm assuming that we're gonna start getting stuff about the Italian tech tree once the Japanese uh, tanks are out. Hopefully, probably next year, cause I don't know. I don't know how long it makes it takes to make a tech tree, but it seems to be a yearly thing. But I don't know, with ships coming too, it's kinda hard to predict where they'll put these. Besides that, there are some unofficial notes for the dev server. I, I kinda decided not to, uh, report on these because they're patch notes for the dev server and not the actual patch so once all the what now has been figured out we're gonna get all these when the patch comes I'll just report on report on them then more interesting though on the uh, that VK War Thunder blog site a big old Q&A appeared although unfortunately and expectedly it's all in Russian so I took the liberty to Google Translate it all into English, but Google Translate kind of sucks. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out what they are talking about. So this section is gonna be a whole lot of editing. The first question I can't decipher from Google's weird language it decided to translate into instead of English. The next question was about some top tier heavy bombers for uh, each tree. It was replied with a very simple answer. Yeah, we're uh, planning on some new ones. Next question was the uh, repair kits and how it's annoying that you have to research them. And I believe they were asking for like a free bad one or whatever. And guides replied with the usual word salad of we got like money basically. Uh, next question was about uh, Soviet attack aircraft. And we already know the answer to this. Guess more are coming in the next patch. The next question, a uh, more exciting one, is asking about uh, the Japanese uh, tank tree that has been confirmed. Google Translate decided to have a terrible job translating this. But essentially the answer that's more important is that uh, the Japanese tech tree, there will be some U.S. land lease vehicles in there that the Japanese actually did use. Uh, one of the Shermans comes to mind. I forgot what one. The, uh, I think it was the Chaffee and the Walker Bulldog also. But they have also stated that the tree will be mostly made of Japanese made vehicles. So it's not gonna be like a Chinese tree would be, which is a bunch of foreign imports. Next question was that about engine failure and having more like problems if you break the radiator or or overloaded or whatever and they said yeah it's in the plans lots of things are in the plans though next question was about current rotation speeds and how it is affected by the gunner skill and the answer was uh i don't know i can't translate this google sucks yes apparently it is modeled in game i don't know uh next question 
about the T-62's uh, stabilizer and how apparently it doesn't work or whatever. I don't know. I don't have these tanks. I'm not that high in the uh, trees yet. But they replied with uh, explaining that um, early stabilizers couldn't stabilize the gun while moving at max speed. And they were more for just m shooting well on the move, but not at, like, fast move, but short, whatever. And they went on some long definition of how stabilizers work or whatever, and then I got bored. Next question I did not understand at all. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Next question was uh, about how ATGMs have destroyed top tier matches. And wondering if they are planning to fix this. And the reply was that they disagree. Top tier matches are not destroyed. They're perfectly fine and shooting missiles across the map is hard. I haven't shot any missiles across the map so I don't know but it's easier than shooting across the map so I don't know. I think they should count, take it into more account. Maybe they're just trying to play coy. I don't know. Next question was about the uh, Panzerwaffer 42 and if they're gonna increase the uh, amount of rounds it has and the uh, number of crew it has. And Google has decided to translate into German, it looks like? I don't know. It didn't come out well. Next question is about the uh, Soviet P-40E and how it uses uh, American bomb sizes, even though it's a Russian plane. And if there's any plans to uh, give it a smaller bomb load. The answer, they asked for uh, documents proving that these bombs exist and then like basically telling them to make a bug report or whatever, which kind of, I don't get why you would ask such a meaningless question and more important Q&A thing, but whatever. Next question was about, uh, like, when the breach gets damaged, if they're gonna model each individual part of the breach and then model damage differently, and the reply was that despite whatever model of the breach is damaged, the damage is gonna be rather the same to the crew, so having it even more complicated would be kind of redundant. Next question was about the uh, BMD-1 or the BMP-1 and if they're going to be added to the game and they replied with most likely so those are some interesting vehicles to be added. Next one was a bit confusing. I think it, they were asking if they will increase the uh, number of crew slots that you have and they uh, replied with maybe if it seems uh, necessary especially with ships coming up so if you have like your airplanes and your ships I can see where they're coming with that. Next question was about the uh, IS-7 and other uh, prototype Russian super heavy tanks or whatever and apparently it's not being planned yet, but it's possible that it'll be like a promo thing, like the uh, E100 was. This question, another one about bombers, about British bombers, about whether if we'll see the uh, Washington Mark 1 or maybe the Lincoln Mark 1. And apparently there are plans for the Lincoln. Next question was about uh, the T64 and if it will be added. And they replied with, uh, it's not planned. It's not something that they're like looking to plan <laughs> and they also said that if they did add it they would have to add equal tanks for all the other nations I don't know if they touched on this but in my opinion I don't think it should be added because that's a little too much power creep if all these nations have these super modern tanks then like all the other uh, tier 5 tanks might start getting shit on. Another question about whether uh, the IS-3 and IS-4 will uh, get other ammunition like uh, Sabot. And uh, at the moment, current answer is uh, no, not at the moment. And if they do, their BRs will be increased, which I'm not so sure if IS-3 tankers would want. So I guess that kind of answers the question. Gaijin does in fact uh, willfully forget certain tanks or certain vehicles, loadouts. Maybe that's why some planes are missing their tiny Tims. The last question I could not understand either, but the answer is, uh, Niet. <laughs> I don't know, Google sucks at translating. I'll post this uh, poorly translated Q&A in the uh, description, and you can uh, either try to understand yourself or laugh at Google's failures. Maybe they're my failures, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, dislike it. And if you have any uh, comments or concerns, or if I missed anything, throw it down in the comments. I do these every week. Sometimes I record them during the weekend. Sometimes I upload them late night on Sundays. But 
It's supposed to be every weekend. It's just the news of the week. So if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching.